Hi guys, welcome to this machine. Let's do an Alt N. And Alt N is providing me this beautiful wallpaper. Otherwise it's always the same thing, right? And you can just go through the list. I have downloaded something, Super F7. Maybe I should look first for the name. <laughs> Don't recall the name anymore. Downloads. So that's not the one I want, neither is this one, neither is this one, that one, that one. Parch Linux. That's what I want to install. Super F7. I have a template, I clone it, give it another name. Parch Linux. Finish, finish. Put something in there, which is gonna be in the downloads. Parch Linux, and now we do our stuff first and have a look at the wallpaper later, at the website later. So, what I do is press an E and have a look, right? You can see what's in here Arch ISO label, escape, and then an E again. This is the end, accessibility on. That's the information that's behind these lines. Yep. So with speech, without speech, copy to RAM. Feels like an Arch Linux way of installing things. And of course, the Spectre is going to red bleed attacks. Data leaks possible, we know all that. And now we get the Arch ISO. So we know already, hey, this is an Arch thing, right? But let's add the key before it. We got a parch Linux. There was a. Um, I've, I've watched the. Read the website yesterday. There is a reasoning behind the naming. But we'll see later. Let's get things rolling. I had a lot of choice. Well, a lot of choice. Um, six ISOs, I believe. And. I saw somewhere something about DWM, but I didn't find that particular ISO. I would be interested to have a look at those. And this is XFC, but you have to twist your head to the left and then you have here the menu, <laughs> All right? And now we need to install things. Here's the file system. We need to figure out how to install. You type install and there you go. Install parch legs, enter. And now we're welcomed by Calamaris. So Calamaris is our tool. It's the version, well, the, the, the last version, the 3.2 version, not the 3.3 version. So it's a year old or something like that. And American English is good for me, but as usual, oops, there are some. This is because there are no languages, no letter types, types for Bengali and Korean and so on. So if you add those, then you can actually read those. But American English is all I want. So Brussels, next. Belgian, next. Erase disk, all the choices. Cool, and all the choices. So we are free to do whatever we want. That's always interesting to see if our freedom is limited or not. Next, install, done. All right, so he's busy. So control G. Parch links, have a look at it. Because it's um, more than just this one. So I would have took this one, Parch XFC. There is Cinnamon, there is KDE, and there is Gnome. But somewhere, not here anyway, but there is a package, I hope, about DWM. So download is this one, blog is this one. Why do we call this parch? Has to do with Persian, Persian arch. So parch. Persian speaking users platform, new industry. And there are some articles here. And if we go back to the wiki, this point in time I think still in the process of being developed more or less so a few things are here already and here I saw the DWM parch links DWM so 
So let's see if we can get it via package or something. There is names, Jade. I3 is here, Qt is here. We can't download them yet, it seems. But the first four are there. And we're back. And these guys will. Where are those guys? The team, here it is. Those guys are the developers. Voila. So you have a look. The website will probably grow in the future. Let's get to this one again. So this is busy and while it's busy we can have a look so the file system that's twice now etc calamaris we have our settings configuration which will be opened like that with the mouse pad so welcome locale keyboard then we're gonna partition mount unpack file system machine id and so on keyboard locks is there in it and remove user user network configuration hardware clock bootloader shell process remove uh, this is a special one right some uh, personal one and you go back in here there's something about launch run copy to ram if this then that and the modules so this is the make init cpio move that to there and move remove this remove that so there's an sdm and that's how calamaris is configured right and the branding is of course in here with all the slides they like and love Voila, that's that. In the meantime, we're done. So we restart. And we have a black welcoming screen with the, the third last line, a quiet and a lock level three. And we boot up. It's incredible, right? I'm recording now eight minutes. In eight minutes time, you've got yourself a desktop. And then we make it our own, right? Right mouse click, properties. Nope, not transparent. Properties, panel, panel preferences, the lock the panel, grab the panel if I can and drag, drag it down, drag it down uh, here, desk bar, vertical, horizontal, and then drag it down. Okay, already happier. Lock the panel maybe. This is something neat, maybe you um, don't know, but you can do this. And if you unlock the panel again, you can drag it more or less to the middle, lock it again. Uh, something you could do, right? Otherwise, drag again. It will automatically increase the length if something pops up. If we enter, we make it a little bit transparent or leave or both. And that's it, right? Maybe not on VirtualBox. Anyway, this is what's possible. Right? Properties, you go add it, edit more stuff to show as icons, show as list, show as tree. It's all what you want to see. So the generic things or not, tooltips. And then you get all kinds of changes, kind of looks. I like the background opacity, but again, virtual box probably missing. Oh, fine. So you get the idea. We've got ourselves a file system. Uh, Control T, yes, is working. 
and update of course is not going to work it does not understand update and then you say sudo pacman minus s y y u <coughs> we've got core coming we've got extra coming slowly but it is coming so my idea would be where is it coming from it's coming from arvan cloud which i have never ever heard about and it's coming from iran oops right that's a big oops if you live in belgium so no thank you um, that's gonna take too long question is of course how can I update the mirror lists here there's something like this is there a reflector kind of thing is there an update is there a system let's do that window manager tweaks no mirror Nope, reflector is not gonna. Let's see if reflector is installed. Reflector is not installed. Maybe the bash completion is not installed. Minus s bash completion. Was it with or without? Well, reinstalling. So it was already there. Could not resolve mirror Arvan cloud, right? that's not the way it's supposed to be so reflector it's not gonna be there i guess let's try minus s reflector okay it's new 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 but can it find it it's quite it's complaining there but And the first one is Australia. So let's quickly grab some code from Arch. Well, Arco. Our alias mirror D, for example, is sudo reflector. Give me the latest 30 number 10. Sort them by delay and save them to etc pack man d slash and you know why we make aliases now. <laughs> Alpha. So X. Now it's something else and it's uh, not from, I believe, was it Iran? Anyway, I'm gonna update the system with a sudo pacman. No, not, I'm not. I'm gonna do first sudo etc pacman.conf and have a look at that. If you wanna update, is it somewhere else? Did I make a typo? Yeah, okay, got it. Nano, of course. <laughs> okay, my mistake. I just want to have the parallel downloads on. I'm good for 20 of them. And that will make everything so much nicer. That's bigger, faster, Roop, go my friends. There were some things that I was wondering, what was that? Let's open it up again. There is a PPR and a PCP. PPR and PCP. So I said, what? Pacman.d, PCP. 
GitHub. All right. So BCP is Barge Linux BCP, and this guy, BPR, is something else, right? I need to figure out what's, what is what. In the meantime, Arch is updated, Broadcom is also updated. There's a command we can't find. Command not found. Problems getting some stuff here from Arch Linux. Some file. Firefox is not some file. It's an important one. Anyway, as you can see, with the list we provided of mirrors, we are up to date. Is newer than extra, is newer than extra. We just got an update of network manager and PPP. So that's going to be normal. It's going to be syndicated all over all the Arch Linux servers around the world. And this one doesn't have it. That's that. Voila. That's enough for this video, which is already running for 60 minutes. But um, I'm going to play with it a little more in the next video. Let's see if Arch Linux Tweak Tool works on it. And let's see if we make this more me, right? More personal. So we can have the Nemesis scripts that we run it. All right. Cheers.